Alright guys, this video is about M&Ms and how they have openly declared that they are no longer halal. That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> M&Ms are owned by a company called Mars. They also make dog and cat food as well and they have an empire of 35 billion dollars which is more than the GDP of Bolivia. So like I said, they recently declared on their Twitter very clear, very explicit that they are not halal. And they've cleared the fact that of course they're not suitable vegetarians either. Now this may not seem like a big deal, but when they start hiding the ingredients from people who depend on them for say religious or health reasons, then that becomes a bit of a problem. Especially after hearing some of their flimsy excuses mate. Don't worry, we only use it in small quantities yeah? Now hang on a minute, so what if you use it in small quantities? It's our choice. It's our body and it's our money mate. And would you apply the same logic to stool and urine mate? I mean how would we know if they've sprinkled a bit of that brown sauce in there as well? I mean they are known for having brown M&Ms, maybe they put a bit of that in small quantities. I guess we'll never know. Just because something's small it doesn't mean it's insignificant mate. Have you ever tried picking a fight with a dwarf? And of course the elites, which is a small percentage of businessmen that are controlling the affairs of the masses. And needn't I say poison, even a few drops is enough to knock you out mate. So this small quantity nonsense needs to be chucked out the window. What's excuse number two? Oh well it's a secret. First of all I get pounded by advertising, slapped in my face with product placement and strangled with their corporate influence and when they finally win me over and I go and buy their chocolate I can't be trusted with knowing what's inside it. It's only people that you find trustworthy that can be entrusted with a secret, not these money hungry corporations and frankly when you look at a few news headlines I don't know if we can really trust these people. I mean here's an article to suggest that they exploit child labour. Here's another article where they've recalled loads of their chocolates because of salmonella. Maybe that's part of their secret ingredient but they didn't want people to know. And there's another recall because they left a bit of plastic inside the chocolates. Now if they're struggling with putting plastic on the outside, how on earth am I gonna trust them with a secret ingredient mate? You know if it's your own family member and you give them food they'll trust you, they'll say yeah I'll take it mate let me try it. But if you give food to a stranger you're like hey try this, first question they're gonna say is what's in it? If you're like ah it's a secret, they're like mate I've never seen you in my entire life mate. Tell me what's in it or I'm chucking it in the bin. And they're not the only ones keeping secrets, even governments are joining in as well. And if it was secrets that are for the security of the country, yeah it makes sense mate. But when you find out that the UK is the second largest arms dealer on the planet and they supply weapons to 22 out of the 30 countries on their own human rights watch list, mate that, that's enough to blow your mind. Anyways guys, hope you benefited. Until next time, Salamu Alaikum.